Hello boys and girls, moms and dads. Selamat hari Malaysia. So today I'm going to read this book, uh, Malaysian Children's Favourite Stories. There are many stories, but I've picked this one today. Okay. How the top hair got its colours. Long ago, the animals of the forest had proclaimed the Malayan tapir as the most handsome forest animal because of his large size and his glossy black coat. On top of his coat was a horn, like the horn of the rhinoceros. The animal believed that the tapir was as strong as the tiger. The tapir became very vain because of the attention he received as the most handsome animal in the forest. He was too proud to mix with the smaller, weaker forest animals. He only talked to the other large forest animals, which were strong like him, the elephant, the rhinoceros, the tiger, and the gaul. Wherever he went, the tapir demanded that the animals gave him lots of food and entertain him for as long as he stayed with them. Many chiefs became poor as they tried to give the tapir enough food. They also became tired trying to think of new entertainments for the tapir. One day, the tapir arrived at a group of rats and squirrels who were very poor. Their chief was the bamboo rat. There is barely enough food for the village animals. We cannot feed such a large animal as you, the bamboo rat told the tapir. The tapir became very angry. You must feed and entertain me for three days, said the tapir. I will kill the animals and destroy the village if you don't. The bamboo rat was terrified, so he promised the tapir that they would feed and entertain him. The bamboo rat decided that the tapir must learn that he could not be so demanding. He called together all the animals and they made a plan. The animals collected the leaves of a medicinal plant. They mixed the leaves with water and made a very strong drink for the tapir. Greedily, he drank it all and was soon fast asleep. The animals quickly started work. They filed down his teeth so that he would not be able to chew meat. They cut off the horn of, on his head. Then they rubbed on a herbal paste so that his horn would not grow again. They believed that cutting off his horn would weaken his fighting powers. They also painted the tapirs black with white vegetable dye so that everyone would know that this animal was a criminal. When the tapir finally woke up, he was shocked to see what the animals had done while he had been sleeping. He saw that his teeth had been filed down, that his horn had been cut off, and that his back had been painted white. The tapir was so ashamed that he quickly ran into the forest to hide. That is the story of how the Malayan tapir changed his color to black and white, stopped eating meat, and became a shy forest animal. Hmm, interesting. Not quite what I expected. 